tribe, what kind of dream? We vibe to kill monkeys in spite of what they seen. We store the tribe, what kind of dream? We vibe kill monkeys in spite of what they seen. We store the tribe, what kind of dream? We vibe kill monkeys in spite of what they seen. We store the tribe, what kind of dream? We vibe kill monkeys in spite of what they seen. No water but charter, a uniform break. The lions been sleeping, surprise, right away. If you hear my voice, clap once. Oh, come on, y'all, wake up. If you hear my voice, clap once. If you hear my voice, clap twice. If you hear my voice, clap three times. Now make some noise if when you order. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you why you're making noise. Make some noise if when you order a hot and ready, you ask for butter and Parmesan over it. Now make some noise if you're going to try getting butter and Parmesan over your hot and ready. <laughs> Yo. So my name is Mr. E. Um, I am passionate, super passionate about our children. And I believe that when we are in the presence, when we have the esteemed pleasure to work with children, that we should give them what they need, right? So I'm an educator. My wife's an educator. And all we talk about is educational stuff because we have four kids and they're all in school, right? So we live this thing on a daily basis. And one thing that I learned over the past couple of months coming from our virtual learning to face-to-face, -face, going back to virtual learning, is that life in education can look and sound totally different. This came to me, the, what you saw, it came to me at the, uh, the end of last school year. And I was like, you know what? I'm a dean of culture at a school. That means that a small portion, because we're like redefining what deans and what administrators and what teachers look like, a small portion of what I do is disciplinary stuff, right? I say 15, maybe 20%. With me being a dean of culture, my job is to help promote a healthy, exciting, vibrant culture in my school so that when, when our students wake up in the morning, they're like, I got to get to U prep because I know that something exciting is going to happen today at school, right? But that small part of being a dis to put in those disciplinary reports in the previous school year, I found out that we put a crack in the school to prison pipeline because no disciplinary reports were put in for the year. So I'm like, this is the beginning of something great. I saw somebody jump when I said that. <laughs> this is the beginning of something great. What else can we do to change what education can look and sound like for our children? Why for the longest have education and for elementary, I, I work in elementary school. Why, why do they have to be quiet? Why do they have to sit still for so long? I have four kids, two boys, two girls, and my middle boy, he is the boy. He's that guy. And he's like, Dad, I got to be quiet at lunch. I got to be quiet in the classroom. Then if I'm not, then I'm losing my recess. Daddy, what? why, why, right? In agony because he's a kid and he wants to move and he's the kid that has the jitters and he just can't help it, right? But there are a lot of kids, and we know that we, there's many different types of learners, right? But my goal is for education to be loud. Now, in Detroit, Detroit, I'm speaking for Detroit, there are so many innovative educators that are coming up with great ideas to show what learning can look like in a totally different way from the way that it sounds to the way that it looks. And I just want to encourage our educators to keep pushing. Right now, can we make some noise for our educators? <laughs> you parents that became educators last year, <laughs> can we make some noise for our educators? Yeah. There we go. He feels it. That's it. I just want to encourage you all to keep pushing. 
Some of you all, you may feel that you are in an isolated classroom in the corner and you're the only one that's doing uh, in, in, uh, innovative things and thinking outside of the box. And sometimes you may feel that you're getting pushed back from everybody, but I just want to encourage you to keep pushing because you are impacting someone's life for greatness. It trips me out when I run and I'm walking through Fairlane or I'm walking through Somerset or I'm walking through somewhere and somebody says, hey, what up though, Mr. E? I'm like, who are you? You remember, I, I was at your school in kindergarten. I'm like, for real? <laughs> it's like, we are shaping, we are not shaping, scratch that. We are helping to empower greatness on the inside of children. And sometimes our just mere presence of just letting children be loud sometimes. We have something called school-wide morning meetings. It's like our big pep rallies. And when we first started it, I was so surprised. I had music, I'm a music person. I had music banging. We was going, I'm like, yeah, come on y'all. Let's stand up, let's make some noise. And they were like, they were outside of their comfort zone because they were so used to being told to be quiet and to stand still and to not move in inside voices. And my push is for us to put, bring a balance where children has a, have an opportunity to be hands-on. The classrooms should be, I should hear voices. I remember back in the day, a, a, a calm classroom or a quiet classroom was success. <laughs> my classroom is silent. That means that I'm supreme teacher. No. No, 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 no. The voices, the interaction, the movement, it's all a part of a greater movement that's happening in the city of Detroit and around the world where learning is loud. Look, the negative attention that my city constantly gets on a daily basis demolished by teachers who represent from Kohans to Concords, we are all aboard, diving in deep water, pulling pupils to shore. We are sure that money's not the reason that we pour our life into the righteous call. Come on, y'all. Restorative mindset, Wakanda's dream, reviving killmongers in spite of what they seem, sparking the innovator, bring the future to now, igniting the voice of kingdoms within the child. No barter, but chartered, a uniform break. The giant's been sleeping, surprised the great awake. The quake within the tectonic plates are now. No debate, the seas are planted, the roots are in the ground. From Ferragamos to Foams, united, we're not alone. Communities in our place reviving the dry bones. Learning is loud. 